Okay, so question two on the March 2011 paper. We've got a fair spinner and it's got eight equal sections and it's either red, blue, green or white. Um, the spinner is spun on which colour is it least likely to land? Well, we know there's a total of eight. Let's note down how many reds are there. There's one, two, three reds. Blues, one, two, two blues. Um, how many greens are there? There's one, two greens, and then there's one white. And then let's just check we've got them all. Three, five, six, seven, eight. Which colour is at least likely to land? White. One mark, easy, because there's only one section and they're all the same size. Write down the probability that the spinner lands on green and give your answer in its simplest form. Well, we've already done some of the hard work. So we know there's eight sections and two out of eight of them are green. Right that will be one mark. We have to cancel this down. So if we half the top and half the bottom, keeping the fraction the same, we get the answer of a quarter, which is the second mark. Okay. Moving on to part B. First spinner Y has three equal sections. It's certain to land on red, so it's guaranteed 100% certain to land on red. Well, if we have to label it, all, all the sections must be red. If it's going to land on red, guaranteed, it must all be red. Nice easy mark. And then this one says, first spinner Z has 10 equal sections. It has the same four colours as spinner X. White is less likely than on spinner X. White and green are equally likely on spinner Z. And red and blue are equally likely on spinner Z. Okay. So we know it's got red, green, blue and white, the same as the others. I've just reversed those order, let's write them in the same order. Um, red, blue, green and white. Okay, it says, it says, white is less likely to land on spinner X. Well, if we just flip back to spinner X, well, why don't we just take a quick picture, it might make our life a little bit easier and let's just put this spinner over here so we can use it okay so we've got spinner X so white there was only one white here wasn't there so if it's less likely to come up on this one well only one of them can be white because if it's got to come up it's got to have at least one but it's less likely because it's 1 out of 10 because that's less, the smaller sections than 1 out of 8 sections. It also says white and green are equally likely so it means we've got to put a green one on there as well and then it says red and blue are equally likely so for every red one, well how many sections have we got? Well let's put 2 red, 2 blue well, we can see we're going to get two more red and two more blue. So you've got to have, oops, you've got to have, if it's less likely to come up on white, there's only one white section. If it's green, it's got to be the same because it says white and green equally the same. That leaves us with eight left to split between the two of those. So we've got to have four and four. Okay, so getting the green and white correct is fine. And then filling up the others with the red and blue is going to get your second mark. And that's it. Okay. So you just got to kind of work logically and think carefully about it. Okay. And you have to keep referring back like I did to the other question.